All right, let's keep things going with the presentation of our next award. Here to present the 2015 Chairman's Award is the Chairman and Founder of GMIS himself, Mr. Ray Mayado, and Chancellor of Washington State University, Tri-Cities, and GMIS board member, Dr. Keith Moo Young. They've been allowing me to pick their brain in the back, and thank you for allowing me to pick your brain about Mars and about everything else. Go ahead, gentlemen. As an educator and administrator, Dr. John Brooks Slaughter is a living legend, an electrical engineer train, training whose research focus on the fundamentals of algorithms, computing, he spent the better part of his six-decade career leading some of the nation's finest academic and scientific institutions. However, it's been his advocacy for expanding opportunities in STEM for underrepresented students that has won him universal praise. As the Chancellor of the University of Maryland, he made major advancements in the recruitment and retention of African-American students and faculty. During his 11-year presidency, of Occidental College in Los Angeles, Dr. Dr. Slaughter transformed the school into the most diverse liberal arts college in America. In his new joint appointment at the University of Southern California's Viterbi School and Ro 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 Rozier School, Dr. Slaughter will direct research at the intersect of engineering and education. This novel and ambitious approach is his latest effort to discover new strategies for achieving his lifetime, lifetime quest to increase minorities' participation in engineering and science fields. Among his many career accomplishments and accolades, Dr. Slaughter has served as a historic two-term as the president of the National Science Foundation, the first African American to be appointed to this prestigious post. He is a member of the National Academy of Engineering. He is a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and holds honorary degrees from more than 25 institutions. It is a great honor and pleasure for me personally and professionally to talk about Dr. Slaughter this, this evening because he is both a mentor and a friend. Ray? Just quickly, I hope each of you in the audience know how important each of you are to making a difference in our future. So I thank everybody here for that activity. But when it comes to the Chairman's Award, I just want to give a couple of sentences on its history. In 1989, we went through the peer review process and the academic host deans made the decision. But what happened during that year is a movie named Stand and Deliver, where Jaime Escalante took inner city kids from East LA and had them pass their calculus A and B exams. He did it so well that they came in and, and they challenged him because he thought they cheated. And of course, you know the rest of the story. So the board of directors allowed me to pick one award when it's deserved, it's not annually, on somebody who moves the needle, really with underserved across the country. Keith read through his tremendous accomplishments, but GMIS has a personal connection to Dr. Slaughter. When he was the head of NACME, he brought GMIS under his wing, worked with us in his own special way, mentored us, and mentored me. And now at USC, he put great minds in STEM on their educational STEM program. Uh, and so with that, he continues to reach out he continues to change lives. And the best part of all this, he's a very personal friend. And I can't think of anybody else better that has moved the needle more than Dr. John Brooks Slaughter. John is not here today, and on uh, behalf of uh, Dr. Slaughter, I will accept this award. I'm Yanni George, the dean of the Viterbi School. Um, 
I spoke a little earlier. I had the pleasure and continue having the pleasure to work with John over the last several years and I have appreciated the impact and the importance of his work in advancing the needle, as uh, Ray mentioned, and making a big difference in uh, diversifying the engineering schools across the country, and we're really very, very proud of him. Thank you. Thank you.